Hi, Leo. Welcome back to my channel here at Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. These are going to be weekly messages here for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for the week of June 12, 2022. So please keep in mind, this is not going to be for every Leo out there. Only take what resonates for you and your situation here and leave the rest at the door, okay? Do not force any of these messages to fit. These are general messages, okay? So let's get started, Leo, and see what to look forward to this week. June 12, 2022 for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. What is a Leo? Leo, great fortune. Ooh, so your luck is on your side right now, Leo. Pretty young thing. Yeah, pretty young thing. Maybe you're looking good. Ooh, maybe you're worried about luck being on your side. This could be like a flip of the coin over here. You got great fortune and poverty coming out together. So feeling lucky, but worried about being poverish. Worried maybe like it's not going to be enough. So yeah, there's con concern around this uh, great fortune. Maybe you're stuck in it. Maybe you're in poverty right now. It could be like a rags to riches or a riches to rags. Take it as it resonates. Like I said, it's like a flip of the coin over here. We're also dealing with courthouse. You could be getting this money from the courthouse, maybe due to a false person, an ending. This could also be an inheritance that you get from somebody that may have passed away. All right, so take that as it resonates or an ending to a situation here. If you are worried about poverty, it looks like luck is on your side this week, okay? So uh, let's get some more information around this great fortune, poverty, and concern. So um, finding peace. Somebody wants peace or you're getting a peace, all right? Take that as it resonates. The color yellow, the color blue, or the color brown could be significant this week, okay? I also feel like you may somebody may own a black cat. If not, there's somebody that's like, got cat scratch fever over here. Very sneaky. So there could be some sneaky energy around this great fortune. All right, somebody like trying to take your fortune. All right, we have the knight coming out. Allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle. Romantic delusions here. All right, so somebody that's like all in their head. This could be somebody that is very young. This could also be like a young child here. I hate to say that because I've got child here and I've got this knight. And knights are like immaturity. They're not really grown up. They can be destructive with their, you know, with their romantic gestures. So somebody may want to offer you love. Maybe they have money to give you this week. Oh, knight in shining armor. But they also have this uh, tendency to sabotage. Someone could be like international. This could be overseas. Maybe somebody's wiring you money or you're getting money through uh, like uh, p cash apps, PayPal. I don't know, like things like that. Uh, this could be somebody that wants to partner up with you that's younger, that may have fortune or may want to build a fortune with you. Okay, so just take it as it resonates. Leave the rest. If not, you can be focused on your children this week. Maybe you're concerned about your children and uh, about money around your children, giving your children money. All these messages are going to be different for every one of you, Leos. Okay, so courage, having courage and strength, finding inner strength to face fear with the confidence, okay? Tapping into that Leo energy. Also, worry, worry around this. You know, Maybe you're worried about judgment or a judgment call. Also, you're worried about fairness. Learning that worry won't change an outcome. Understand that everyone has their unique path and challenges. Yeah, and this is around money and finances this week. Using your imagination in order to reach a goal. All right. Let's see. Tell me about this great fortune, this poverty, concern, and this night. All right. For Leo. Powerful energy shift. Okay, things are shifting now with the eclipse. Okay, it's like things are unseen right now. Things are not illuminated. So you're still in the dark about a situation. But with this eclipse... Things are changing. There's an energy shift. It could be positive. It could be negative. So depending on which side of this, Leo, you're on, there is concern and worry, but worry is a wasted emotion here. 
Let's see, what is this? Ghost people. This could be gossip. This could be rumors. People talking behind the scenes, behind your back, okay? There's a lot of red here too. So red could be a significant color. This could be people that are angry because of this fortune. I mean, maybe other people will be in poverty due to this fortune. This could be you facing your inner ghost, okay? Those inner demons, building up that courage, tapping into that, that roaring lion, right? Okay, so the number 26, the number 8, the number 37, the number 10, the number 33, the number 6, the number 34, number 7, or the number 10 could be significant this week, okay? Wow. Mermaids could be significant, too. Also, like, raging. Somebody's in a rage. Could be over this abundance or over these uh, finances, this finances that are coming in. Let's see. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly. We got available. So somebody wants to know if you're available. It could be this knight over here. It could be male or female. Take it as it resonates. Somebody younger than you. There's a difference in age. All right. Let's see. Oh, we got hidden texts or emails. Check your device over here. This week, check your devices for emails or hidden text, something that you don't see. Somebody wants to make fireworks. We have Christmas, so something could have happened during Christmas time. We also want, somebody wants to call you or they want you to call them. Call me. Blondie. Somebody can have blonde hair. All right. Deep, dark secrets. Somebody's got these deep, dark, hidden secrets. They, they would also be the, from this eclipse. These are things that you don't see yet, things that are hidden, things that are yet to be revealed. Okay, someone could also be like not sleeping very well right now, or this week you may not be sleeping very well, or someone around you may not be sleeping right right now. Someone needs to unlatch from the titty, okay? They need to grow up and get off the tit, get off your mom's tit, male or female, okay? Grow up, get some balls, okay? Or, you know, whether they're on your chest or down below, okay? Uh, someone rereads your text messages and replays your conversations, Okay, but yeah, there's hidden text and emails, something that you don't see. You could have those and you just uh, mislook them. So check your devices this week. All right, let's see. What else do you got for Leo? What else do you got for Leo for the week of June 12th? Okay, we got summer. Summer, summer, summer time. Maybe you're just unwinding right now, having a good time, enjoying your summer here. Someone has an idea or plan for this relationship this night. All right, somebody is sober or currently in an AA group, okay? Whether this is you or this is a person you're dealing with, but there's an enemy around, whether it's known or not. With this eclipse and the energy shifting, you may be finding out who this enemy is this week. They can't do anything without thinking of you. Someone's trying to tell everyone you're still together and lying about sexting you. So someone's lying and saying that you're with someone. And you're not with anyone because it says you're available or somebody's wondering if you're available. All right. This could be what's keeping this person up at night is, uh, you know, them having worries and fears about what lies they've told. Someone's feeling insecure because you're confident. They can't imagine a life without you, Leo. You're always on this person's mind. They could uh, be OCD. Dealing with obsessive compulsive disorder. Maybe you're obsessed right now. Facebook. Something could be going on Facebook. There's talk or gossip, I said. Rumors. Uh, you know, uh, fake Facebook accounts. Hit me with your best shot over here. Leo said, hit me with your best shot. You know, you ain't got enough. Can't get enough for you. Someone can't get enough for your love, Leo. Okay, yeah, playing victim. Victimizer. Wanting to punish you or discriminate you unfairly. So someone's playing victim and wanting to victimize you or and or okay someone may be not available right now they're saying to stop they want me to stop giving these messages and they're weekly messages so you're getting them leo whether they like it or not so wednesday could be significant something may happen on wednesday here this week someone also dealing with psychosis they're delusional it could be related if they are sober or in a AA group maybe they're relapsing here uh, it could be drug induced or not okay or someone's just in that mentality if they've got ptsd or they're struggling with ocd they've got psychosis also all right let's see 
We've got listen to someone who backstabbed them the whole time. So somebody been listening to someone. This knight has been listening to someone that's been backstabbing them the whole time. All right, this young energy over here. All right. Made fun of your spiritual gifts. So someone made fun of your spiritual gifts, Leo. All right. Ain't funny, is a sis. That's what this is. Somebody could have an accent. Someone also could drive a Ford. All right. Whether this is you or this is your person you're dealing with that you're blocked from here. Black magic was coming back on them. There's threes of crowd, the new moon, something could have happened in the new moon. Someone used black magic on you, maybe to try and stop your blessings, okay? Or to block you in some way, shape, or form from, from your blessings. It's coming back on them. Threes of crowd. Somebody could be dealing with a third party situation or they were multiple lovers here. Or there was a choice between three. Someone is very evil and diabolical and cruel. All right. Yeah, making up stories because they can't find any dirt on you. So somebody's trying to make up stories. They can't find any dirt on you. So they want to be evil and then malicious. Okay, you remove the obstacles. So you're removing obstacles this week. But there's somebody else that's gathering information on you or trying to gather information on you, I think, to see if you're available. Because they do want to take you out. It's like they want to get, I want to get to know you, know you, right? They want to put it on you and get to know you. Somebody could have stole your inheritance or somebody's thinking about stealing your inheritance. They could have tried to use black magic to try and steal your inheritance. Let's see. And we got contract, marriage, business, or career. So you may be uh, asked to get into a contract, marriage, business, or career this week. <coughs> Excuse me. Pay attention if you sign any contracts. Pay attention to the dotted lines. Make sure you read the fine print. Okay? And that's the advice we have here. Let's get some moon advice for this full moon coming on the 14th for Leo. What advice do you have for Leos, please? So we got believe in the impossible here with the once in a blue moon. Adjustments are required, Leo, this week. Your hard work is paying off. Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody that has Capricorn in their chart. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Libra. Okay. A personal issue reaches a resolution. You could be dealing with a Cancer. And emotions are running high with the super moon. Someone could be stuck in their south node right now, especially if they're recovering from addictions. Okay, that could be a difficult time for whoever this individual is. Capricorn, Libra, Cancer. Uh, I think those are the only three signs that came out here. So take those as they resonate for you. So they could be working on getting into their north node. All right, um, Leo, those are the messages I have for you this week. If they resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate your love and support for my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.